way, dude. They've got a first gen Tundra with an Overland Campers and Tacoma with a Hiatus Campers. I've never seen the Hiatus Camper in person. Super excited to check these out. <laughs> I had no idea they were bringing such cool truck campers, man. That's so cool. What? That's it. No way. Oh man, love this Kodiak tent. Love sharing it with friends. Hey, it's cozy in here, man. What's up, guys? What's up, man? So yeah, we got Zane and Brian here, and uh, stoked to show you guys the tent. What do you guys think? Uh, the tent is amazing. Nice. It's super cozy. It's a super windy day out here, and 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 Phil's kept it super cozy in here. The super fireplace is awesome. Right here. Just freshly stoked right now. Yeah, dude. And. Uh, Dude, it, it's 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 an amazing little home. It really is. Yeah, it's warm and cozy. I would do it. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, you guys are the owners of exclusive tents too, right? Yeah. So you guys know Canvas pretty well. Yes, I, we're in the, the Canvas tent business, and yeah, and we make them uh, kind of like uh, for for full time living. Yes, yeah. it's for this all the time. Yeah. So that's super neat. So it's great to have you at the property, show you, and kind of brainstorm future dreams of. I don't know, maybe having one of those here, you know, yeah. a little home base set up. So, um, but today I wanted to show you their rigs. You guys drove some like just super clean. Like when I first saw it, I was like a hiatus and an overland camper. Like no way. Yeah. Um, it turns out they play well together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think it'd be cool to share like your experiences with them. Maybe, maybe even like your differences between the two, what you like about, you know, cause they, they're both very similar pop tops but very different in a lot of ways too yeah absolutely yeah yeah we could definitely yeah. talk about that a little bit for, for sure. sure so like mine is the overland camper i yeah. built it on a 2006 toyota tundra the first gen tundra and one of the main differences between that one and the hiatus is i have canvas walls um so it pops up it's great i have the um clear pvc overlays on there and those things are really nice. They keep me warm, especially out here where it was actually pretty chilly at night. Yeah. Um, whereas Zane's is more of a hard wall sided. Yeah. Which yeah. is pretty cool as well. Yeah, it's like a folding hard wall. It sort of like folds up and down like origami. So you pull these little latches there. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Right. Wow. What? That's it. No way. Oh my gosh, that happened so fast and it's so freaking sealed up. Dude, fantastic. Yeah, you just clip it up and you're good to go. Wow. Just go and thrash it on a bad road. No way. I have been wanting to do a video of these since the moment I saw them on Instagram years ago, two, three years ago. Wow. I mean, it's really good in bad weather. Like, super. Yeah. We had a super windy night last night, so it was, uh, you know, I wasn't bothered by the wind or anything yeah. like that. And I gotta say, actually, Brian's is really good in the wind too. It's yeah, super nice. And even hot. with the fabric walls, it yeah. stays super tight, so yeah. the wind doesn't bother. It doesn't sound like it's flapping or anything like that. It's super comfy. Yeah. Oh, and that's super important because yeah, you never know what you're gonna get out here. Every once in a while, you get some really, really windy days. So yeah. that's why we're in here. We got some good audio. So <laughs> yeah, that's some great input already on the camper so yeah. it's super nice like yeah. i mean the i i drive a little 2002 toyota tacoma a little first gen and uh, it can't you know you can't load them up too heavy and the camper is really light it's it's only 400 pounds so to build you know something like that on that little truck it's 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 you know keeps it pretty light keeps the kind of like you know taco -y nature of it and it's still fun to do trails with it and and, uh, oh, there's codes. Oh, <laughs> what you been doing, codes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she probably went to my parents' yeah, yeah, trailer to go see if they're there. Yeah, she knew we were filming without her. <laughs> yeah, right. That's so <laughs> funny. She's been, uh, yeah, taking you guys pretty well. You got a lot of dog smells you brought here. Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. she can tell we're lovers of little brown dogs. <laughs> yeah. So you travel with dogs in the camper then too? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I bring my dog and my girlfriend, and so there's three of us in the little Tacoma and. It's, it works out really good. I mean, she yeah. loves it. It's, it's, uh, you know, uh, if she's happy to go out and camp, that means I get to go out and camp more. And, and, uh, if she's cozy, we can go anywhere. It's, you know, a rainy night, scary movie night, you know. It's Heck awesome. yeah. Well, maybe let's, uh, go see him then, right? Enough no, chit chat. No. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's really cool. It's cool to see. 
cool to see them together. And they're different trucks and they're different campers, but they're both white, <laughs> just like mine. So it's like, it's, uh, I don't know, it almost looks like we're this like little team right now. <laughs> the white truck camper, mid-sized truck With the whole pop up here. crew. Yeah. yeah. Like dump trucks or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I noticed the uh, ADS, right? Yeah, ADS racing ADS shocks. ADS that's Arizona as well. Yeah. That's yeah, good that stuff. Was, that was done in, in Tucson. Yeah. And uh, man, that really helps with the camper too. I mean, it had pretty tight suspension before. Yeah. And uh, I, I really wanted to st still be lively even with this thing on the back of it. Yeah. And it was it was definitely did the ticket. It was it was awesome. Yeah. So this is just so neat to see hard sided walls that pop up and, and fold down and Yeah, I can even drop it in a minute so you can see it. That'd be awesome, yeah. We could see like how it all works. And I see the side hatch here. Yeah, my uh my little uh these things just gave out this morning. Yeah. I'll have to replace those, but uh quick side fix though. Are, yeah. Yeah. It's got a little kind of like a little day bed on the side there. It's so neat. I love how it runs just right up to it. That's that's really cozy I love feeling. Like, yeah. I love laying up here with like a beautiful view out there. And, yeah. And just kind of relaxing. It's obviously it's still a work in progress. I've got to build out the kitchenette. Like we kind of got a temporary kitchenette situation here. Yeah. Um, no, but I like what you've done. You just literally put the table there. That's the fold out table, right? And yeah. It's just got like a little canvas bag for all your coffee and plates and cleaning supplies and all that good stuff and yeah man this hatch this really this is cool this is really open feeling to that camper having that open yeah. i'm sure when you're on a lake or a river and perfect weather and a little babbling oof, brook or something that's so neat that's awesome yeah. wow yeah that's yeah. big and that slides out up there obviously this becomes like you know these cushions make the bed and it's almost i mean it's almost like a queen size bed up there once you roll it out it doesn't like look like it but when you're up there you know uh when i'm th up there with my girlfriend and my pup climbs up there dude we got, we got plenty of space it's yeah it's it's pretty amazing yeah let's show you guys what it looks like up there you got the little domatic too that just fits perfect there codes can get up hey codes what are you doing what are you doing she already owns this place. yeah <laughs> <coughs> what do you think codes smells good huh she loves truck campers, man. It's so funny. Oh, yeah. She was very interested in your guys' trucks. Dude, as soon as she got here, she was, like, at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you funny girl. But, yeah, really neat to see, like, a real RV kind of window. This is where you would uh, raise and lower the roof, right? By yeah. Kind of like moving those. Yeah, that you unclip. Yeah. And then you see those handles right there. You just pull that one. Just pull them the one on the other side and it closes like a book you know just like they just folds down into like a, a little bucket. It's, it's it's definitely like a pop-up book <laughs> yeah that's so neat man yeah oh, that's yeah. nothing like having real walls there and then you got the window in the front too it's awesome and then yeah this pulls out coach what are you doing coach come on get out of there i'm trying to pull it up i'm trying to pull it up get out of there <laughs> It's been a great experience yeah, that just, so far, though. Yeah. That pulls out nice and easy. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, the wind just kicked up, hey? Thing's cool, man. I love these little things, too. It's like, I mean, I know it's still, like, in a, a camp setup mode, but these little things, like, it's like a little suction cup hook, and you can put them up on the walls and everything. I'll hang, like, my bag up there. and Yeah. And uh, we even did, like, those little uh, shelves that you, uh, those little, uh, like, uh, pop up and down shelves that you hang in in your closet the fabric ones yeah and so you could have your folded clothes up there that, that actually works out pretty good too yeah yeah that, i would imagine you could use a lot of stuff like that kind of throw stuff up on the walls oh, when absolutely. you're set up and yeah i've got a little bucket of them underneath wow. so whenever i need to hang something up i just stick it on there and yeah it holds a ton of weight too yeah that's neat do you know how much it weighs the camper is yeah. like 400 pounds <sighs> That's so light. So, yeah. So and it's composite, like fiberglass. See, the, the, the folding walls are composite, and I think uh -huh. the, the roof is composite, too. And then there's, yeah. like, this aluminum ring beam. Yeah, Codes. I know. It's a two-for-one. We're in two campers in one video. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the hard side pop-up, and then we've got the vinyl pop-top. Overland yeah, campers. Overland. Yeah. On the V8 Tundra. 
Yeah. Right? This thing's a V8. It is, yeah. Yeah, dude. That's a great, great truck. Both just really gems of yeah. Toyota yeah. trucks you guys have here. Yeah. That one's heavy, too. It gets up and goes. Yeah, and yeah. The camper didn't slow it down. Either. Yeah, heck yeah. Pretty light as well. well. That's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the barn doors and... I kept my tailgate because I really like sitting out here. And yeah. then also, like, it's nice to just come out real quick and then, mm -hmm. you know, kind of give it an extension. Oh, getting caught up there. Thanks, man. Yeah, she has her little bed there. <laughs> you guys are way too kind. Man. <laughs> yeah. She's she also got a, her own bed. But, yeah, she, lo <laughs> she loves uh, testing out the campers, man. Yeah, exactly. So That's when great. I got mine, I had to do all the insulation in there, which I did. Um, it's still raw on the roof and on the sides. I haven't put the covering on that yet. I got this. Yeah, it's all work in progress. Got the storage. Oh, it looks good though. Yeah. That's solid. Yeah. yeah. And you got the same table, eh? Yeah, I got the same nice. one. It worked for him, so I went for it. The Blue Eddy AC200. I see it there. Yeah. Wow, that looks good there, dude. I like that. Yeah, I need to order the trim, here, but I'm cheap. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It looks pretty finished. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then yeah, same bed kind of pulls out, yeah, the whole slides. Thing slides. Yeah. That one it's a little bigger than a queen and yeah. it's slightly smaller than a king. But I actually just sleep up on it like that when I'm traveling alone. Oh cool. Yeah, so it's perfect to fit me up there and yeah. yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Keeps me comfy. I like these barn doors a lot. Yeah, these are cool. These are neat. And you could man, the the options like you could do fold down tables or yeah. You could have like spices here, a whole cooking kind of area. Or... That's that's a lot of options with these. Yeah. I've honestly not really seen them and spent time around them. So I'm just kind of brainstorming as I see them. Cause yeah. Yeah, and they that's offer neat. tons of options. You could put windows here if you wanted to. You know, yeah. I didn't go for it, but you can do side hatches, windows in the bottom as well. Yeah. yeah. Coda's like, oh, it's probably a good idea. It's more insulated. Yeah. Without the side hatch open. <laughs> The last one was cold with the side hatch. <laughs> <laughs> over there. Yeah. Sorry, we got to put your little Carhartt uh, jacket on. They know. Um, and then, yeah, like mountain hatch. This is the, uh, yeah, what is that? Delrin kind of cutting board material yeah, kind of thing. cutting board material, yeah. That's neat. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's better than having the one that came with it had all the ribs in it and stuff. And I took that away, put that on as a game changer. Yeah. 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 Got your whole folding table, too. Yeah, I got the folding table. So it's pretty nice, actually. I can come out here, open this up, and then, like, kind of have this whole. Yeah, look at all that. It's like almost the same exact level, too. Yeah. Some board slides out it. Oh, it yeah. moves even further. Neat. Oh, yeah. There you go. Like a <laughs> kitchen set up if you wanted to. That's sweet. And that's the, yeah, the rigged ultra yeah. swing there, right? Yeah. And then you also have hitch. What a neat unit. Yeah. yeah. I've seen these before, but man, when they work with the application, they really work. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I just realized too that you don't even have your tailgate because you've got full doors. Yeah. I was, uh, uh, at hiatus, they, they kind of recommended, uh, they, they will, they'll do it this way too, but they said it just on, on, on this particular camper, it seals up way better with the barn doors. Yeah. Better seal. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, Anders said he liked it that way too. That, that's my brother. Yeah. Um, He's got one of those too, but uh, yeah, I'm, I've been really happy with that. I was, I was actually worried about losing my tailgate because I had the mountain hatch and everything like that too, and and loved it. But um, you know, since having the little table on the side, uh, uh, the, the rig supply table and the front runner table, it's been it's been great. Yeah, it looks like you got the same ultra swing setup, but you've got the mountain bike rack too on it. Yeah, I, I got a it, it mounts sweet. into the spare tire because otherwise I drag him through his stuff. Yeah, I want to look at that a little too. That's cool. So. With all the weight of two bikes, and I mean, this is how does this perform? Like, you know, I, I've four wheeled with it uh, quite a few trails with the two bikes. I gotta, you know, I, I gotta take it a little bit slow, but I mean, this is the most. This is quite the rack, dude. Yeah, it's it's been wow. I wow, I like that. Oh my gosh, they're so high up. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, it's high. I don't drag them through stuff. And it's, dude, it's really stiff. Uh, you know, the, the, the bikes don't get thrashed or anything like that. And 
I mean, I, I creepy crawl the truck when I four wheel it. Of course. And uh, and we're also pretty careful, like, not to get too much off camber. But I mean, it performs really well. It's it's better than I expected. Man, this rack is quality. Just all the red and blue billet aluminum. Yeah. I mean, I'm a sucker for anodized aluminum in general, but it's so easy to throw them up there just in there. They're in. Okay, that's good, man. Nice work on the bike setup. That's always a challenge, you know, getting I mean, the bikes I, right. I went through a couple of renditions of that, especially like you know, out of the bottom toe hitch, and, and yeah. Then I found that little interface. Uh, something called Gambini makes the, the the hitch that you can put on your spare tire. Yeah, so I've been super happy with this, and it's like. It's nice to like bring the toys I have and still be able to use the truck as a toy too. Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of like what I want. Yeah. Well, man, I think these trucks complement each other pretty well. Yeah. And it's really cool to see them and and yeah, I'm stoked to do some more trips with you guys and yeah, we've got uh kind of on the same wavelength I think yeah, as yeah. far as a lot of that. So Yeah, we've got some to-dos, man. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah, we br well. brainstormed some fun stuff, so. Yeah. yeah. But thanks for showing us. Um you got to follow these guys on uh, Instagram, Exclusive Tents, and YouTube, too. And yep, yeah, yeah exactly. Exclusive Tents. I think it's Exclusive underscore Tents. Yeah. Um, but uh, you'll find us. Look it up there. Yeah. It will pop up. Heck, yeah. And then uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. You guys are definitely down to mob. I mean, come on. Look at the rigs. <laughs> um, so comment. Let us know what you think. And really, the question is, are you down to mob? Woo! <laughs>